All right, guys, I was fortunate enough to be able to demo a Ventrec 4,500 wide tractor, the power rake, and 72-inch side discharge finish mower. Um, had my eye on these Ventrec 4,500s now for a couple years, and really like them. I'm going to go come spring and, and buy the finish mower and use that, and then I'm switching all my attachments and everything over. I'm going to go Ventrec, and I'll explain why. A um, lot of videos on YouTube about the Ventrec. I wanted to go about it. I had just a little, little different, differently, and show the reason why to choose them and what sets them apart. Uh, the one I demoed is a. It's got a Kubota 25 horse uh, diesel, and they make a couple other liquid cooled options and uh, air cooled. But main reason I wanted to go diesel. Um, big part is I think the how more fuel efficient it would be and then I definitely want a liquid cooled no matter which engine I chose because 80-90% of the time you're using these is in the summer and if you get the optional cab with the liquid cooled you can get uh, the heating kit. There's over 30 attachments available for the 4500 and the nice thing is you buy the tractor today 10 years from now there could be 40 attachments they just they just released a uh, sickle bar boom mower. Um, they've been adding things to attachments like the power bucket they got to grapple. So Ventrac's been coming out with new things and, and adding things to other products and stuff. So when you buy the Ventrac, you're, you're also, you know, you're not stuck with the same attachments and, and that's it. They, they keep changing things and coming out with things. Uh, front mount mowing system once you have the attachments out front you'll never want to go back to a belly mower or anything in the rear again you it's it's too difficult it's so nice having the attachments up front and especially with the Ventrec you can hook up to the power rake to a mower deck in the matter of a minute um, you lift the lever to unhook you pull the lever to unhook your belt or your auxiliary hydraulics and you just back out and then you just drive into the other one, hook up your belt if it's belt driven and then hook up your hydraulics if you have them, lock your pin in place up there of course and you're ready to go. Um, the option to go from attachment to attachment in no time, that's the other uh, big seller to me. Uh, using this it was a little wet uh, mowing because we had some rain the other day. But I love having the fenders on here. I didn't get anything on me. It's equipped with the uh, foot pegs, which I'll go over them here in a second. You got auxiliary hydraulics. It has the 12 volt auxiliary there. I think that's for the deflector chute on the snowblower, and you can also use it for the V plow. And that's got the switches right here. It's hooked into the SDLA lever. Uh, SDLA lever just controls speed, direction, lift, and auxiliary. That's why they call it that. You got a cup holder, a little toolbox or something to put your phone in. The rear uh, hydrostat oil cooler uh, fans there. They got a spot for your owner's manual. A lot of things I love about this tractor, the more I've been looking at it, I like how they tucked the weight bar in to the tractor so it doesn't stick out. So when you walk behind it, you're not smacking your legs on it. It has a spot you can put a receiver in to tow something. Now the last couple days I've been going over this and just when you really start looking at it, and you know open up the hood and look under the seat you really get to see how heavy duty and how well built these machines are I mean they cut no corners the it's just everything is so beefed up and so much steel in here and it's little things like I noticed like even your SDLA lever it's hooked to a, a pillar bearing yeah, they got a bearing it's hooked to they didn't even put bushings or anything on this so when you buy one of these you're buying something that was designed to last a very long time. Uh, holds six gallons of fuel. Now I topped it off when I started using it and then I went to the fuel station and got five gallons in a can and then I used it and topped it off. I got roughly just under six hours on the machine and that's using the uh, mower, mowing a lot with it and the power rake and I used four and a half gallons of fuel. So. I think that's pretty good. That's under a gallon an hour compared to my 25 horse Kohler air cooled that uses two plus gallons an hour just to cut the grass. So, um, you got your traction control. It puts more weight on the front tires if you adjust it for mostly hillsides and stuff. 
once you pop the hood open and look they got all the decals that tell you capacities and everything I like that you don't have to go through the owner's manual quick guide uh, radiator screen easy to get to and get out to clean it the size of the radiator on this thing guys is it's amazing I never would expect to see a radiator this big on a tractor like this uh, they got like a little diagnostic box here inputs outputs of switches like PTO and uh, neutral switch and stuff so if you ever have a problem with the switch or anything I think it's just easier to find the problems I like this they got the fuel shut off right here and the battery they got a switch so you can shut the battery off I really like that especially if you're leaving it in the winter for long periods of time storing you can do that it doesn't drain the battery down the thing I like most about using this tractor is I'm a pretty tall guy I'm six foot four and I don't even have to have the seat all the way back most machines compacts everything I run I don't fit on them. Um, I feel cramped. I never felt cramped whatsoever on this machine. All the the throttle, the steering wheel is perfect. Um, everything's within arm's reach, and I wouldn't change a thing. I love having the pegs. You can extend your feet out. Uh, there's plenty of room on the footboards. Even turning this machine, I never had anything hit me in the knee or anything like that. So that was all perfect. The SDLA, uh, SDLA lever is perfect. I love how Ventrec piggybacked them. Everything just feels right. It's comfortable in your hands. You can move the auxiliary, move this to float forward, backwards. And the hydraulics on this tractor, this tractor is so smooth to run. Um, it was the steering and just forward, backwards, everything. Every, all the hydraulics on this thing are so smooth. Um, the dash layout on this tractor is perfect I wouldn't change a thing there um, this does have the optional slope meter um, if you're gonna be mowing on hills I definitely have that it even has an alarm that goes off if you get too steep you got a tachometer speedometer hour meter uh, engine coolant temperature then your fuel and it's all LED lit you can see it in the daytime and at night uh, it's got a little warning gauge here it's your voltmeter but it also shows when the parking brakes applied um, voltage light there oil pressure, uh, coolant temperature, and hydraulic oil uh, temperature there. So yeah, I like that. You can look over and, and monitor everything. Like I said, everything is extremely comfortable on this. They do make, I believe, an optional foot pedal for this, but with this lever here, you don't, you don't need a foot pedal. I'd, I wouldn't have one. Uh, it's got the rear switches over here for like rear auxiliary, and I forgot to mention that earlier, but that's that's right here i believe that would be for a salt spreader or something i'm not not real sure and then your uh hydraulic oil cooler is thermostatically controlled but it does have a switcher you can reverse it and i think that's just to blow debris out there again on the screen um totally totally satisfied with this with this tractor i loved running it so much um only complaint that i have that i can say bad about it is that i don't own one but other than that it's a great machine uh you can go to a dealer check one out and drive one and you guys would be sold i'm telling you there will be more videos on the on the boom or the the finish mower and the power rake it might take me some time to get them on there but i'll try to get them on there as soon as i can and uh thanks for watching